So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, so today's uh, July twentieth, and it's um, it's let's see. So today it's it's a meeting for a GitLab plugin modernization for Jenkins GSOC, and we have. Let's see. Let me share my screen first. So, okay, can you see? Yep. Okay, so do you want to report your, what you have been able to achieve over the last two weeks? So maybe a general. Yeah, so, yeah, so I was working on the milestone too, and now it's successfully working interactively, except uh, one problem that I was having with it, like uh, the merge request was not working because okay. like, the merge request state enum was not matching with the older state enum in the GitLab plugin. So instead of using the updated and reopened enum, I either I'll be using the opened enum or the all enum. So we'll have to decide more about it a bit more. Other than that, everything is working fine. And I've also added uh, the document, uh, like not the documentation, but the order checklist of what to test interactively on the Gitter channel. Maybe I'll also add it in the modernize uh, the GitLab plugin modernization meeting notes so that uh, mentors can test it interactively and find if there is something wrong with it and inform me so that I can fix it. Okay. I'll be also debugging the code, the Mindstone 2 code now in the in the meeting just so that it could be used as a reference for the review for the reviewer that is Basil and Chris and Mark so that they can know what's wrong and what's right and and can be sure that it's working properly. Okay. So other than this, I am the, the problem that I am facing currently is more on the test part. Like one one uh, one issue that I had was the Git uh, the GitLab SSL test was not working on the Windows but it on the Windows operating system but it was working on the Linux environment. So like I don't have any clue why it's happening, to be honest. And I think I'll need some help on that. And on the other tests, like uh, the tests in the milestone one will be disabled because uh, I decided as per Basil's suggestion that uh, the test will be, uh, the, the PR for the test will be in the milestone three. So I'll be, I'll, I'll be disabling the milestone one test and I'll be also making a normal PR for the second milestone by like uh, a new PR, not the draft one with all those changes. First, the milestone one full request will be merged this week, most probably, uh, like, sorry, the next week, most probably. And the milestone two PR will be merged after that if the interactive testing is working properly and Basil gives a positive review on that. Okay, okay. so that's what happened. Mm, other than this, the test, could be a block could be a potential blocker for me because i i still don't know why it's not working properly but the connection tests are fixed but not the uh, the json api responses that i'm getting from gitlab are differing and i have to fix it but there are still some differences which i'm not able to figure out why it's not working the way i want it to work so i think tests will require a bit more work on my side which will be in the milestone 3 so yeah i'm hoping for two merges back to back i guess this next week yeah okay uh, let me see. other than other than this uh, there are also some uh, other pull requests in the gitlab plugin which i want to be merged after the second milestone uh, like in next to next week so yeah don't merge it right now after the after the milestone 2 code is merged into the gsoc project branch then it can be merged into the master branch okay Let me take a look first to change some Other than this, the milestone four will be for the proxy and the milestone five will be all about the documentation changes that we want to have. Uh, there is a documentation PR by Mark and a PR will be also be made by Chris and by me. So we'll have a lot of documentation to add. And at the last part of the modernization project. Okay, makes sense. 
Yeah, looks good. So, so far so good, except for the tasks we need to work on a bit. Yeah, we need, we need to work on them because the, the problem with the test is I'm not getting the response from the merge request for some reason. I am I'm quite feeling that if I try to make the test work after the, uh, with, the uh, with the milestone two tests, actually, I'm trying to make them work together. Maybe that will work better. But I, I, I just have an intuition for it, but just let me try. First, I want those two uh, milestone pull requests to get merged, and after that, I'll start working on the test extensively. Okay. It should not be that bad, to be honest. But yeah, it can be bad because like the sample, uh, the sample events, not the events, like the sample hooks that were created, it was a very different approach that the author took, and we have to create the corresponding events for that, and then simultaneously match it and it's a lot of matching matching things that i have to do and it's a lot of manual labor that i'm currently doing trying to match them all okay yeah it sounds good okay so let's, let me check like for the look so uh, maybe if i'm ask we can see if i've missed anything so mark will be out just for this week and he'll be back next week so we can talk to yep. him though like what he wants like what he thinks about the plans we have next week. So um, I think we cover everything yeah. so far, yeah. So can we post it about the tasks? Like what? Uh, can we post it about the tasks? So it's like if you encounter like any, like if it gets stuck for too long or yeah, like we, we can find a solution together. We can yeah, discuss. I yeah, I think we should be discussing it to be honest because like yeah. there are a lot of things that I'm doing. Like I'm also, uh, I'm managing both the tests like the milestone one test and the milestone two test simultaneously right now. So I'll try a bit more if I'm not able to get it working then of course I'll ask for a bit uh, a bit for help because like uh, I cannot be stuck, uh, stuck on it for a long amount of time. And the connection tests are already fixed which means that the connection is proper. There is something wrong with the JSON responses that we are getting because I'm not able to maybe match them properly and maybe I'm not able to find which is the HTTP version which is which is using like I was having an error of 17.0.5 while in the uh, Git, uh, in the GitHub uh, like the CI it was actually 18 point something so I don't know how to match them. So yeah these these trivial issues can be fixed. Okay sounds good. So I think uh, we'll, we'll meet again next Friday night, IST. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's the case. Yeah. So should I like uh, debug it live, like the second miles to code, milestones to code, so that you can have proper guidance while, while reviewing the pull request? Right now? Yeah, if I, maybe, like, maybe if you want. No, not not today. Cause I um maybe later. So we kind of have a separate meeting. Maybe on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, no it? worries. Yeah, Saturday or Sunday. Like, it's okay. I I I wanted Basil to uh like see the debugging because so that he could be sure that it's working properly. And because I changed the execute method quite a lot, like I actually uh destroyed to be uh destroyed it to be honest. Like uh, the webhook action that I was getting. From all the all the processes that I was getting it from behind, I I stopped getting the webhook action. I made all the methods to be void, and then I executed it directly instead of get, receiving the webhook action in the get dynamic method. So I changed it quite a bit, and I tested uh, like tested it using my debugger quite a bit. So yeah, that was the major change that happened in the milestone two to make it work because it was not working, and it was give it was throwing me a lot of four or fours. So I fixed it somehow, but yeah. It was a big change, so yeah, that's why I wanted to show him like how the debugger is working, so that he could be sure that yeah, it's working properly. I have a sense that maybe when Mark is away, he won't be here, but we can try like after Mark's here. So we we should like ping Mark first and ask like if he knows if if he can ask for requesting Basel's presence next week. Yeah, in in the draft pull request, I I, I actually want to request Basel to review it the draft pull request right now, see if the code changes are proper or not, because he reviews things in three stages, right? So at least the first stage, I get it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, true. Have you tried paying him? No, I haven't really tried it yet. Yeah, I tried paying him on the issue. Oh, PR, no, no issue. Okay. Yeah, so I, 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 I'll, I'll, like, I'll try to reach out to him too, if I can. Yep, so I think that's 
that's what happened this week and okay. previous weeks of course i was having blocker in the milestone too so it's it's now finished i can have a blocker in the tests but i don't think so that will be it will be that major because of course it's just mapping the api responses okay sounds good yeah good progress yep so that's it for today thank you bye